Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, Oxfu. And, well, last time we came, we fought, we, we went up against a few, a few looters, and took care of them. And now we came back to Hillis. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're gonna go this way. Because, well, if we can go this way, um, <laughs> we can stop knocking into, ah, stop it. I can stop knocking into walls for half a second. Uh, what we will find back here is actually a box. And you're going to look on the side and you're going to say, but wait, that's the Nutri that's a Nutripills box. It's, it's going to have units in it. Not so, it's going to have a pearl. Which means we're one step closer to getting that flight stabilizer. And, you know, our Uncle Paige left us this little, this little tidbit of information. About why that might come in handy. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Well, there's a coffee shop. Let's go stop for some Joe. Eat at Joe's. <laughs> um, but yeah, now we're going to go into the racetrack before we go to the slaughterhouse racetrack. We're ready for the third race. No, we're not ready for the third race. Not yet, Double H. We have to. We have to train up first. Hey! Race one. The whips, the wheat, and the wusses still have three more seconds to get the hell out of here and back to your knee. I love these races. It's just they're really easy, but they're just fun. Plus the music is amazing. Which you'll hear in Well, not on this racetrack, but when we get to the third and fourth racetracks. The um, music's just really fun. I mean, this is okay too, but... It's not the same. You'll see what I'm talking about. Hopefully I'll be able to get there by the end of this, ep this episode, so... Yeah, this is nowhere as good as the third and fourth race music, so... Well, just, just hang tight. We'll get there. But yeah, like I was saying last time, um... Yesterday we had my birthday party, well, my friend's birthday party, because I'm probably still going to do something with my family. But, um, my girlfriend made me a plushie from Moyashimon, and if you don't know what that is, um, well, it's an anime first, if you can't tell from the name, but it's an anime about this guy who goes to an agricultural college and he can see microbes. Like, it's not like he has special powers or anything. I mean, he does. He can see microbes with his naked eye. That's it. He doesn't have like special powers to control them or anything, which I I love. I love when anime do that, when or TV shows at all. Really, they they make a person normal, except for like one thing, like they they can see bacteria with the naked eye or something like that. Like it's not something so vastly unbelievable that it just ruins the anime for me. But yeah, Moyashimon just. It's just talking about him in in college, in agricultural college, and well, it's different because there's not many college animes. Most the most animes that have to deal with school at all are just high school animes, and they're not really about anything important. It's not really about like fitting in or finding yourself or anything like that. It's usually just like. Hanging out with friends and being a silly teenager. Oh, hey, I forgot we can shoot these guys. And I think we can lock on them too, which makes things easier. Maybe not. But yeah, we can shoot these guys. Make them slow down. Crowd loves it. Crowd goes wild. Oh, get out of the way. Um. But yeah, this deals with a lot of stuff that you would a lot of stuff that you wouldn't expect from another school anime but a lot of stuff that you want that you do experience in college like fitting in finding what you're actually doing in college it deals with all that which is great I think um and also feels it, it does it does talk about finding yourself because I mean his the main character's uh, best friend deals with that quite a lot, which I'm not going to spoil anything, because 
it's a great anime and it sh should be watched a lot more than it actually is so um but yeah she made me a hand a hand sewn uh, plushie of one of the bacteria that you can see because they're not they're not they don't look like the actual bacteria they look like anthropomorphized uh, cartoonish versions of course so she made me the green fungus from the anime and it came out absolutely spectacularly it's it's just it's so well made because It's hard to I, I can't exp, I can't really explain it because I <laughs> I feel like I don't know I just really like it and it it's I really love that she was able to do that for me because it's amazing <laughs> and now I'm just going on about my girlfriend and I feel that really bad. Um... But no, yeah, that was great. And, 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 just as good as that, maybe even better, I don't know. <laughs> we are ready for the third race. Let's go. Um, well, what time are we at? We're good. We should be able to do a couple races. Uh, we do have something else we have to do, but we don't have to do it right away, so. We'll leave that, we'll leave that for a little while. We, we don't have to do that right away. Although we should have done it in the very beginning of the game, so I don't know why I'm no, I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving it for so long for so long. But you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave it for now because that's I don't know. I find it, and I do it again. I do it again. I don't know. I find I find it kind of funny that I'm doing it so late in the game. Oh wait, before we do that, because we're gonna go right into the slaughterhouse after we finish these races. I'm gonna just swing by the rhinos quickly and pick up that mecha impulser that I laid my eyes on a little earlier. Cause you'll see why. It, it just will come in handy. <laughs> uh, is it here? Yes, it is. Let's buy that mecha impulser. See if we can grab another one too. Yep. So we added one more wrench to our vehicle's health. So we can now take a little more damage. And is there one up here? It looks like there is, so we'll add another one while we're at it. Grab that. And we'll grab it. Yeah, it triples our speed. How many pods do we have? We don't have mods. Take one of those. And I might as well take a cape up while I'm at it. I'm just thinking ahead, just just in case, but I'm going to leave, leave myself 1500 for spending money. <laughs> Emergency funds. But yes, just as good, or perhaps even better, I'm not sure yet, <laughs> than the um, than the Moyashimon plushie. And she was actually able to find me a um, an Oscar Wilde card. <laughs> Oh my goodness, um, it's just a cutout of Oscar Wilde, and it opens up into a card. And for any of you that know me, um, you know that I've just been getting so much into Irish literature the last few months or so, the last semester, because the class that I took this semester completely changed my ideas about literature and just made me fall in love with um, Irish literature and Oscar Wilde in particular. And I don't... It's just amazing. <laughs> it's amazing that she would think of that, and it's also amazing that she was able to find that, because I just love Oscar Wilde to death. He's probably one of my favorite authors, now that I've read more of his stuff. Right, now that we know we can blast him, let's just go for that right at the beginning of the race. <laughs> Get them out of the way. Now, this is the music I was talking about. This music is absolutely phenomenal. I'm just going to be quiet for a second and let you listen.
I absolutely love this music while you're doing the races. And it's both the third and the fourth race, too, which is awesome. Um, it really reminds me a lot of just... Oh, we're gonna win! First try! Um, it just reminds me a lot of the music from Tropico 3, like that kind of... Uh, Caribbean music. I don't even know what I don't even know what to call it because I'm not a music person. Um, I could, if I had a while to think about it, I could probably think of a name for it, but I don't know what it is. I know it has like a, a Caribbean flair to it. That's about it. And it because it reminds me of Tropico Three. It reminds me of that the island, the music from that. Like, which I love that game too, because it's just like, <laughs> oh, I'm a dictator. I'm playing Sim City, <laughs> except it's a much better Sim City. <laughs> Speaking of which, I could play that game again. Oh my god, I love that game. And this one is going to be the hardest race, but we can do it, even if we have to take a few tries. But that's like one game that I would play even if it was just for the music. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a Sims. I'm 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 kind of in a Sims controlling mood anyway because I've been playing. I had um, one of those Sims moments a few days ago, like a, a few weeks ago. You know, those moments where you're just like, I want to play The Sims. I don't know why, because I don't really like The Sims that much. Like, I like it every once in a while, but I just want to play The Sims. <laughs> you know, kind of like that. Oh, we're still only in third. Holy crap, let's use some boost capsules. Oh, they're both only right there, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Come on, slow down. Slow down. Take it. Take it. Take those lasers. Um, <laughs> take it like a man. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just need to play that game because I would play it just for the music because it's such good music. Oh, uh, but I gotta watch more anime. <laughs> I get, I've, I've gotta watch more anime. That's that's it. Like, there's no other explanation but that, because I've been checking out the spring anime, and most of them are crap. But for those that I like, I really like them. Like, there's most of them are just really trite stuff that we've seen a thousand that I've seen a thousand times before in other anime. But there's this one anime that just it's about this Japanese family in 1964, and that's it. There's nothing else. It's just about a family in 1964. Like, no gimmicks, nothing. It's not trying to be funny, they're trying to be normal people. Which I just... I, l I really like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to wait and see if there's more of it. There's also this, um... I don't know, there's a couple others that I'm looking at. Can't even think of what they're, up, they're about anymore, so... Well, before we go get going... I'm just gonna go to the racetrack and show you where we have to go to get to the sl slaughterhouse. Or maybe we'll keep that for next episode. Well, this is OXFU, guys, and thank you for watching, and hope to see you next time on Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, OXFU. Take it easy.